Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. I ended up, um, <laughs> there was, uh, technical issues, that's for sure. I, I know, it started, uh, last night when I was trying to, um, get the frames per second down to 50, and there was a whole bunch of other things that I had to, like, figure out, and audio, I didn't test the audio, and it basically, the frames per second were working perfectly, but the, um, uh, the audio was basically returning nothing, so <laughs> I had to play around with it a little bit today and just tweak it, but I will fill you guys in quickly. So last episode, well, I guess what wasn't covered, um, what I ended up doing was I did pick some more mushrooms, I sold the mushrooms, I got quite a bit of money from that, and then what we ended up doing is winter came, we cooked a bunch of meat, the meat is over there, there's like tons of meat here. Um, I have a bucket of water now because it's really cold outside and uh, we ended up making, I'm not sure if we can see it from here, a sewing shed uh, because we have really bad clothing for the winter. Uh, I was thinking about upgrading our shoes so we could get a little bit more. Right now at the moment we have just 5% um, uh, cold protection and 5% heat protection. That's good during the summer, but not so much during the winter. So what we need to do is kind of get that all sorted out. Um, whoop, I didn't mean to pick that up. So we do need a few ingredients in order to do that. We need um, leather. I'm not sure if we have enough leather at the moment, but we'll go check. And we also need, we have eight leather, that might just be enough. Uh, we need our fur, and I think that's all we need, honestly. So let's go over here quickly, and we'll hop up here, take a look at our boots. I unlocked that one as well, so we just have enough to make this up. I hope it's going to be warm enough, because we don't have any other ingredients for making any other warmer clothing. Like... It would be ideal to have a custom shirt where we can get like 10% cold protection, but we don't really have the money either, so I'm hoping the boots will do fine. It's um, 20, in per sec uh, per 20 per plus 20% protection, so uh, hopefully that will be enough. Um, I'm just hoping. I don't know if it will be. Um, and apparently not. We're still getting cold. Okay, so it will help a little bit, but it won't help, like, perfectly.
Alright, so the plan is to reassign Hello, her to another location. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell her to work at the workshop instead. I thought maybe, like, having um, her work here for the product would be good, but uh, thinking about it later on, uh, it will actually mess up what we need to do for the moment. So I ended up unlocking the flax. Uh, we need 10 flax th stock, and then we need... Actually, we need 20 more because I made, um, I unlocked this one as well for the linen fabric. And we should be able to get, um, trousers with cuffs. So these will give us additional 15%. So, um, basically we have only 5%, additional 5% cold protection. This will give us basically additional 10 so we don't have that, or I would have probably unlocked the one of these two, but uh, this one will give us heat protection as well. So uh, that should help, but we need to go back into town and uh, spend some more coins on that. Um, everything is unlocked. I just need 20 flax, which should be, or flax stock. So we'll go back to the farmer and then we'll grab additional 20. I didn't know how much I was going to need, to tell you the truth, so... But hopefully that will bring our thermal protection up a little bit higher than what we have at the moment. I'm just hoping that will. Um, again, this is completely just... I'm just trying to get as much out of the, the money that we had saved up. So, just warm up here for a second. Um, I sold the oat rolls. We weren't going to use those. They're good for money, but... There wasn't really any use. We have tons of food already. And the... That... Oat... Oat beer, I think? Or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but there was that. We sold some buckets. We got tons of money, so... Um... Yeah, we'll go ahead and... Find the farmer. Hello there. Jump Whatever you need, I've got it. So I want... Are we going to be able to afford it? Yes, we will. Perfect. So we got 20. That should give us exactly enough to Have a good day. make those um, trousers. Hopefully it will be enough, but we'll see. Uh, it's pretty cold out, and it's not even a blizzard yet. So <laughs> uh, we can also skip the season in a couple days as well. So I think we have to go through this.
Okay, so the pants do help a little bit. Um, mostly during the hottest hours of the day. So, um, again, we don't have any storm, which is perfect. We'll be able to um, probably get through today pretty easily. Um, I wanted to see how many buckets she was able to make and maybe hunt those crows. They are a little bit of a problem. Well, not a problem, but they will be a problem. Uh, we also should have, let's see here. Not exactly enough leather just yet, but we'll be able to make another shoe pretty soon and sell that. Though, I'm looking at the buckets and stuff. It looks like we just have two buckets that we can sell. And... Nine limestone. You know why? Um... Yeah, we might actually need that limestone a little bit. I'm not sure. Uh, what we're going to need, though, is tools for sure. Um, some of these... Let's check the inventory of some of these places. We might need a new axe pretty soon. Uh, woodshed... Yeah, they don't have any extra... Extraction shed... None... Hunting lodge... He's got three, so we're gonna need at least an axe and a pickaxe. And... Maybe a couple more knives as well. So, let's see if we can't craft that up. So we're gonna need at least one of these. And we're going to need one of those. Whatever we can get out of the uh, hunting knives as well. So let's see here. We can craft up. Mm, we have three now. Uh, I'll try to keep it around five because they do go quite fast for the durability. But um, that should be enough for a while. Okay, so I can put that back in here and then we'll put it directly into their buildings. We can put all this stuff away as well. All right, and we are getting a little bit of feathers. I, I like to keep at least a um, hundred on us, so we can probably sell like 106 as well. Um, the reason why is just in case we need arrows, like for the crows. <laughs> actually, um, it's probably best to actually kill the crows with spears because it doesn't, it's, it's cheaper. Uh, we will. I don't know why I came here. I think I was heading over to the uh, woodcutting lodge. <laughs> okay, let's put uh, that.
Alright, so I ended up getting a little bit more, um, what do you call it, uh, fertilizer and beetroot seeds because we didn't have a whole 15 yet. So I wanted to set that up so we could basically get a decent harvest next season and then maybe we can sell some of the excess that we don't need. Uh, I think that would be a good um, thing because spring's right around the corner. We have taxes. We need to get our money up again. Uh, not only that, but food's going to be running low. We're going to be going into um, our meat supply pretty soon. So I know that they're, there's, they're not going through it as fast, but there's also spoilage on it, right? So this one has 75. So if it's spoiled like one season like that, then most likely this is going to spoil in like two seasons. So we're going to need to make sure that we have a steady supply of food that we can cook so they have um, the food that they need, right? So anyhow, uh, this should cover um, cabbage, 15 cabbage, 15 carrots, and 15 beetroots. Uh, later on, what we can do is we can expand to maybe flax in this area. And um, I'm not sure if we really need wheat for anything, to tell you the truth. That's kind of like game stuff, but flax is definitely something that we'll end up needing. So we could probably plant like 15 extra here. And then whatever we can fit in there, we can always plant as well. But, um, honestly, this size of crop field should basically survive us for what population we have at the moment. Uh, if we need to expand, what we can do is we can build another one somewhere around here, maybe on the hill or something, and that would work out fine. There's tons of space on the hill that we can basically plant, so. Anyhow, uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.